Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am coming on with a freshly washed face, bare and everything. So let's get to it. So our video today is going to be about Jamaican mango and lime exotic black castor oil and I actually have two. I have one specifically for your hair which is on the left and on the right we have one specifically for your skin and nails and I'm going to show you five ways that you can use these in your beauty regimen. Oh, which one are we gonna do first today? Let's see, let's do this one over there. All right, so this one is the exotic castor oil for your skin and nails. So this one helps promote anti-aging, your skin tone, it helps moisturize and protect your skin. Okay, so we're gonna start with the face so I just washed my face so it's nice and fresh so I'm just gonna take the castor oil and put it on my hand like so and as you can see it is like a yellowish color so please make sure whatever you're wearing is something you really don't care about because it will stain so I'm just gonna take the castor oil and wipe it all around my face and rubbing it in just to make sure I get into those pores and deep into the skin. So this is supposed to help your skin become more glowy and bright. And I have been using this for a little bit and I have noticed a change in my skin. Um, I feel like my skin is brighter and it's less prone to uh, pimples. I haven't really broken out since then. And I really like it because it actually is pretty lightweight and it does not clog your pores at all so this is definitely a winner for the face and you want to make sure it's all nice and rubbed in if there's too much just go ahead and wipe the excess off and i do do this for my nightly routine okay next we have my favorite can you guess what it is yes you guessed it right it's the eyebrows Okay, so the eyebrows are super simple. All you need is your castor oil skin and nails. And you are going to take a cotton ball and just put it on the top, flip it over like that, wham, back over, and it looks like an egg. Like, y'all can not tell me that does not look like an egg. But you're just going to wipe your eyebrows, and I just wipe it through a couple times and I just do both sides and that's basically it. This will really help with hair growth in your eyebrows. If you have thin eyebrows, I would definitely try this to help grow them out. Next we have the eyelashes and you wanna be very, very careful with the eyelashes. So you're gonna use the same thing for skin and nails and you're going to want to make sure you do not get any of this in your eye. And instead of using a cotton swab, you can also use a mascara, a clean mascara applicator, which I think actually works better because it actually gets in between those eyelashes. Okay, so that was it for the facial area. Um, as you can see, my face has been very, very good to me lately. Um, since I've been using the castor oil, um, I feel like my skin is so much more bright and glowy. On to my favorite, your thinning hairline slash yo edges. This will definitely help with that. Now we're moving on to the castor oil for your hair, which is my favorite. Um, specifically for your hair and I'm going to open it and I'm going to pour a little bit inside this little container I have because I'm going to heat it up and put it in the microwave so let's take a look at my hairline here so a lot of y'all noticed my hairline was thinning from all the wigs and the weaves that I wear and all the tension I put on it so I'm going to use the castor oil and this is after I heated it up in the microwave for 30 to 60 seconds depending on how much you put in. But I'm just putting this all over my hairline because I want it to grow back, okay? I miss it. So I just take a good amount and I do this before I go to bed. 
I just take a good amount and disperse it throughout my hair. Um, on my hairline, you can also put it in your hair if you have one of those nozzle applicators. That's what I do also. But since my hair is up in crochet, I can't really get to it. So at night, this is what I do. Just rub it everywhere and I have noticed a difference. I feel like my hairline is starting to come in some more and it's looking a lot better. Trust me, like I've seen the difference already. <laughs> at taking care of my nails like I promise you I am horrible so this actually helps out because sometimes my nails do get dry and a little bit brittle so just take the cotton ball and put some on and just rub it on your nails literally that's all you're doing and then at the end I usually like to just rub my hands together because it does get your hands nice and moisturized and it does not stain anything once it's all rubbed in your hands Okay, so those were the five different ways, and I hope this video was informative and helped you on your skincare, your face, and everything, and your hair, of course. Please let me know in the comments which one you'll be trying, or if you have already, please tell me your experience with castor oil, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!